Welcome to another in the continuing series of 4-Minute Fridays by TPM. My name is Bruce Harris and I'm a Senior Application Engineer here at TPM. Our topic today is going to be creating a key plan for your title block. So let's just get into Revit. Okay, over here in Revit, I'm going to go to the Create tab and I am in the actual title block family, the RFA of the title block. So I'm going to create some text. Let's just zoom into this area here. Place my text. And put key plan down there. And now back on create, I'm going to sketch out the overall shape of my building. And I'm going to use wide lines. That sounds good. So I'm going to sketch out the overall shape of my building. And I'm not being totally precise with this because this is just kind of a representative sketch so now I've got sketched out the general shape of my building now if I wanted to I could um, put some line work where I'm going to split it up I don't have to do this but I'm going to I'm going to do that maybe with a center line. Just to kind of indicate where I'm going to split that up. Now the next move I'm going to do is I'm going to put some text in each of these areas to represent the, the different key plans. Let's go back to text. And you do, may do like one, two, three, or you may do A, B, C. There's really no right or wrong way to do it. Now once I've got them labeled the way I want, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a filled region in this key plan. And I'm going to make a filled region for each one of the areas that I am going to want to shade out in that key plan. So I'll just do a rectangle for this first one. And do the next one. I'll just follow my shape on this next one. And one last time. And I'll just do a rectangle on this one as well. Okay. So now I've got my three regions there and they're shaded. Now we need some way of controlling this and the method we're going to use is a family variable. So I'm going to go in here to my family types and I am going to create a new parameter. I'm going to call the first one 1. It's going to be an instance parameter meaning it can vary each time the title block is used. The common discipline is fine, but the type of parameter is going to be a yes-no, and I'm going to put it in the graphics area. And I'm going to repeat this two more times. So I'm going to make one called 2. It's also a yes-no, and it's also in graphics. Instance parameter. And last but not least three yes no and 
graphics and it's an instance parameter. So now I have my three and rather than it be on by default I'm going to have the default value being off. So I go OK there. So now I have my variable that I want to use to control the visibility of these objects. So when I go and select that region, rather than it being visible, I'm going to click on this little dot right now and see what it says associate family parameter. So I'm going to associate a family parameter of one with that one. And grab this one and associate a family parameter of two with it. And then last but not least, grab that one and associate the family parameter of three with that. So now we think everything's good. We've got our little key plan there. We've got our hatches there. Um, they're labeled. Um, we just need to check it out now and test it out. So let's load it into our project. Okay, so I just loaded it into this project. So let's go create a new sheet. And we're going to use that title block. And there's our little key plan. And nothing is on by default, which is the way we wanted it. Now I'm going to put a couple of dependent views on there. So I'm going to drag and drop zone one onto this sheet. And then I'm going to drag and drop zone 3 onto this sheet. And once I've placed them, I'm going to come down and select the title block. And in properties, in the graphics, we have those three family variables. And I'm going to check 1 and 3. And when I do, 1 and 3 over here are filled in in our key plan. I'm going to do that one more time. So I'm going to make one more sheet. And I'm going to drag this zone 2 out there. And place it on the sheet. Go to our title block and in properties check zone 2. And now zone 2 is hatched in. So it's real simple to create a key plan. It's one of those things that um, you definitely need to do if you have a, a project that's too big for the entire floor plan to fit on a sheet. Hope you've enjoyed this 4-Minute Friday. This has been another presentation in the series of 4-Minute Fridays from TPM. My name is Bruce Harris, and I want to thank you for joining us and invite you to come back and watch again. Thank you.